ايضاً جيجا اوف جود هذا الشخص الذي انتشر في اليوتيوب على انه شخص خطير وقوي جدا حتى ان بعض الاشخاص قد وصفه بانه تجاوز بروس لي في حركته و يعني رياضته وقتاله وغير ذلك ومن جانب اخر فهو مشهور كخادم الله او جندي الله ونجد في فيديوهاته انه يمجد المسيح بشكل كبير جدا يعني بعد كل فيديو تحفيزي اذكرك بالهه المسيح اليوم اريد ان نزيل السطر عن هذا الشخص ليس لانه مسيحي لكن كي نكتشف الحقيقه اليكم اذا الصدمه الصدمة في هذا الشخص فهو شخص فهذا الشخص الذي ترونه أمامكم ليس إلا مجرد مصور للفيديوهات لا غير يعني أنه لم يخذ في حياته ولو قتال حقيقي واحد وليس هناك أي دليل على أنه خاض قتالا حقيقيا ولم يشارك في أي بطولة قتال ليثبت لنا ولنفسه على انه فعلا نينجا حقيقي لقد سبق لي ورايت فيديو فيديو لا ادري اذا كان فيديو خاص به تماما لكن شات فيديو انه قتل في احد مباريات لكنه لكن لكن قتاله كان ضعيفا جدا لكن لا ما اتذكر انه هل خسر المباراه ام لا لكن قتاله كان ضعيف ولكن ذلك الفيديو لم اعد استطيع ان اجده لا ادري هل تم حذفه ولا شك انه تم حذفه لانه يشير حقا الى الاساءه الى سمعته المشهوره مع الاسف ودن مع الاسف هذا الشخص ليس سوى مجرد احمق جبان يخاف من المواجهه الحقيقيه وكل ما يصلح له هو التمثيل الافلام الهوليوديه لا غير لهذا فهو يعمل غالبا مع الشركات التي تضع يعني التي تصنع الالعاب لانهم بحاجه لتلك الالعاب يعني تلك الحركات البهلوانيه التي يقوم بها لتطوير العابهم كل ما تاسف لاجله هو الضياع مثل هذه الموهبه في امور السخيفه عوضا ان يكسب الالقاب في المسابقات مثل الام ام اي واليو اف اس والكثير من المسابقات القتاليه فهو يكتفي بهذه الامور السخيفه وتاسف لاجله ايضا لانه مسيحي ادعي بان المسيح هو الله او ابن الله وهذا سخيف جدا فنحن جميعا المسلمين نعلم ان الله تعالى قال في كتابه قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد لكن هذا الشخص مثل جميع المسيحيين غبي جدا والعجب ان ان يصفه البعض ايضا من بان جنسه من المسيحيين او من الامريكانيين على انه لديه خلل العقل فهو يحارب يعني يحارب ويتدرب كثيرا من اجل لا شيء نعم من اجل لا شيء كانه يستعد ليقتل في يوم القيامه اليكم الفيديو الذي انتقده في هذا الشخص واليكم باقي الفيديو <تصفيق> to know who this man is training to fight against because he in the army of Jesus it's part of your one he the only soldier the Lord needs to fight Satan is in trouble if this man pull up he got every martial artist around the country feared for their life Jet Li, Jackie Chan eyes open wider than their genetics allowed them to this is ridiculous the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want He restores my soul. At what point should I feel concerned for the safety of the mannequin dummy that he's whooping on the floor? He brought life to an inanimate object. I am in fear for the safety of an inanimate object. Look at the dummy. So if you look closely, you can see a tear running down its eye. If you can, there might be something mentally wrong with you. You might want to go see a doctor. But nonetheless, this is ridiculous. This man flipping and putting knees through your chest. If he Holy Spirit is the power of God, and boy, He's my power. When I and millions of other people have found, after being convicted of our sin and repenting of it, that and having accepted and believed that Jesus Christ, the sinless man, paid the full price for my sins, He took my shame and guilt on the cross and died for me. because of which i have peace and that peace is something which passes understanding i want to know 
would you like to take away that peace which I have, which is a peace which passes understanding? And can you answer that? Thank you. Brother asked a very good question. He is Dr. Matthew. He's got a website and organization called Creation. He said that he found peace. He came here to attain peace. He said he got peace in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who died for his sins on the cross. He died for his sins on the cross. So he's asking me that would I like to take away your peace? Brother, I would never like to take away your peace. I would like to take away your false peace and make you get the true peace. I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I respect him and I revere him. I want to know that do you also love Jesus Christ or not? I am asking you. The Holy Spirit helps me to walk in destiny. He keeps my feet safe on the right. Yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. yes. Yes, brother. Now, either you get true peace or I will come to your peace. Yes. Correct? If yours is true peace, I will leave my peace and I will join you. Yes. Now, you told me Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. I challenge you to point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal verse from the Bible, a single unambiguous verse in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, that I am God or where he says worship me and I am ready to accept Christianity. You said Jesus is God. As far as Muslims are concerned, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians do not believe. He keeps my feet safe on the right path. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslim and the Christians are going together. But the parting of ways is, as you said, that most of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If you can point out, I am ready to accept Christianity. So if he has not said that, why do you believe he is God? And where did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say that he died on the cross for your sins? That is the teaching of Paul. Are you following Paul or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? My Nowhere God. in the Bible. So my question is, when Jesus Christ never said he was God, if you love him, you have to respect him. He said when he was asked, which is the first of the commandments? It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark. Chapter number 12, verse number 29. He said, Shama Israelo, Adnan Haidman Daikhad. Hear, O Israel, the God, our Lord, is one God. He repeated verbatim what was said by Moses earlier. Peace be upon him. So, what I am asking you, if you know the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you say Christian is a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, that do not be drunk with wine. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, that wine is a mocker. Whoever deceives has it. We Muslims, we don't have alcohol, but many of the Christians have alcohol. Furthermore, we Muslims don't have pork. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, that you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but Christians have pork, most of them. Furthermore, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was circumcised on the eighth day, according to Gospel of Luke, chapter number 2, verse number 21. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are not. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I am proud to say we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves.